Hi guys, welcome to Origin. Uh, I just saw this video and it gave me an idea. You see, I originally made a video disapproving of TJ's ownage Fortnite. So I can show you an alternative. Uh, I took that video down. But I can show you an alternative and it's aptly named Making a Rebuttal to an Argument Without Ad Hominems. Let's begin. Miss Metal 333 why atheists aren't happy people. Good start with Serge Tankian, Empty Walls. I love that song. Just uh, watch out for copyright because everyone's getting slammed for it now. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to film the... Well, I'm going to play the video and film it. Cool? Yeah, okay, let's begin. Right, here we go. I hope you can hear this. If not, I'll script it out. I have a friend, he's an atheist, and he's really unhappy and cynical. The title of the video is Why Atheists Aren't Happy People, but you're just really describing your friend. That's one atheist, it doesn't really reflect all of us. I'm an atheist and I'm perfectly happy, you know? So all of my friends, as far as I know, are all pretty happy people. So, yeah, um, don't know where you're getting this idea that all atheists are unhappy. Well, atheists in general being unhappy. Just so you know. Wiktionary. Cynicism. A sceptical, scornful, or pessimistic attitude. Sceptical as in questioning things, you know? So, you know, that, that that's good. We should question things. Unless you have other ideas. I, I don't know. But to me, you know, scepticism, cynicism is a good thing. If he's pessimistic, then maybe, but... And he said uh, he was an unhappy person, that's fine, you know, if he's pessimistic. Yeah, that that's just him. Like I said before, just him. And I know, well, I think I know, the reason is, is that God put us here to make him happy and to be happy. The reason he's not happy is because he's not making God happy. Okay, right off the bat, I can tell you... I seriously doubt that's what's going on in his head. It's an interesting theory, don't get me wrong, but instead of having a theory, you could just ask your friend, you know, just uh, go up to him and, you know, ask, hey, is there something wrong? Is something going wrong in your life? Is, you know, okay, I'm not very good at asking questions like that, but, you know, so, you're, you're probably better at it, I don't know. And I'm really bad, so I'm just assuming that you're better at it. But uh, ask your friend yourself, you know. Ask him why he's unhappy. And that's my theory on why society is so corrupt. Okay, that's cool. You think this society is corrupt? I think we need a more Venus Project-like society. Opinions, you know, points of view. It's just that simple. That's what it is. If you say that society is corrupt, you're just saying, I think society is corrupt. Or society, society doesn't suit my moral beliefs. But we might not agree on that. So We've let our morals slip because we didn't want to follow them as morals. By saying they aren't morals, they aren't really morals. We're making them okay, okay to carry out, and uh, it's a problem. Yep, I'm right. Our two views of morality just aren't compatible. You, I take it you're a moral objectivist based on uh, morals slip. Uh, well, <clears throat> I have a video in which I basically say there can't possibly be an objective morality. So let me just paraphrase that video. This is what I say that you know even God can't be the basis for absolute morality. He's simply those are just simply his opinions, and just because <clears throat> just because he's God doesn't mean they're moral absolutes. They're still opinions. They're just like you know society's laws. They're no different. They came from basically a mind, so they have to be subjective as well, and they're inconsistent as well. You just need, you need to look at the Bible a few times. What was it? Uh, Thou shalt not kill, yet, uh, was it Deuteronomy, Leviticus, all those things, stoning your child and so on. This isn't out of context either, because, uh, 
is simply taking things which he supposedly has said and you can't just wipe that clean with Jesus' sacrifice, so yeah. Right, one question. If society, technology and people all change, then why shouldn't morality? That's a problem with atheists. Atheism sucks. Sorry. So, atheism sucks because of moral relativism, which I should mention now is completely unrelated. Right, well, atheism and moral relativism don't necessarily go together. Now, it's logical for atheists to be moral relativists because there's no absolute basis, but it doesn't mean the two always go together. There are bound to be atheists that aren't moral relativists. If you are one, it would be cool if you made your presence shown on this video in the comment section. <clears throat> okay, I have two more things to say, one of which should help your videos. Basically, if you're gonna have a song in there, even, even if it's a copyrighted song, I don't care about that, you know. I had music in my videos as well, until uh, the copyright crackdown. Basically, what... Well, if you're gonna have a song, don't put them at different volumes with the uh, actual speaking because at the beginning you've got Serge Tankian blaring out loud then you go quite quiet so we have to turn up the volume but then the song comes on really loud again at the end so we all just go whoa you know especially if there's people like I don't want other people to hear what I'm doing here so like, so if it's a loud noise all of a sudden, that just resonates there at the entire house and that's just not cool. So keep the volumes level, right? That said, I really like the song, as I said before. Secondly, and this isn't to you Miss Metal, this is to your comments. Well, the people leaving comments on your video. Let me show you. Because we're seeing the exact same intolerance that I made a video to TJ about. Exact same stuff. Read Star Dragon's comments here, but I'll read it aloud for you. Still here, you still think you can outlast the onslaught of ridicule. If you can't tell by now, you should know it will only get worse for you. Your thoughtless claims are going to be your downfall. You need to get off YouTube while you still have a modicum of dignity left. Once again, I will remind you that you were warned this was going to happen. How much indignation can you stand? It will be put to the ultimate test here. Okay, Miss Metal has a right to put up her videos as she sees fit. You may not think it's a very good argument, and I agree, but she still has a right to put up her videos. You have examples of, you know, intelligence on YouTube, what to do. You also need examples of what not to do so you can learn from them. <clears throat> so there is a purpose in her being here. <clears throat> and even if there wasn't, it doesn't excuse you from comments like that. But, <clears throat> you know, I promise I wouldn't mention any that again in terms of videos, but comments, you know, this just has to be said in general, so this is the last time I'm going to say it. People do not deserve to get kicked off of YouTube just because you think they're stupid. Thank you. Uh, thank you for making the video, Miss Metal, and bye everyone.